which of the following statements is false? Is it A, x plus 3 greater than 2, where x is greater than negative 1? Is it B, x greater than 5, where negative x is less than negative 5? Is it C, x equal to 5, where x squared is equal to 25? Or is it D, where x plus 3 is greater than 4 and x less than 1? Which of these statements is false? Before we can figure out the correct answer, we have to solve them individually and compare. So now let's do that. So we have A, that is option A, where x plus 3 is said to be greater than 2. And with this one, x is greater than negative 1. That is the option A. Option B, we have x greater than 5, where negative x is less than negative 5. We have option C, where x is equal to 5, and x squared should be equal to what? 25. We have the option D, which states that x plus 3 is greater than 4, where x is less than 1. So these are the four options that we are having, and we are being asked to figure out which of them is a false statement. So what we are going to do is, as said earlier, we will solve them separately, and then we compare to find those which are true and those which are false. After that, we base on them and then choose the correct answer. So now let's take the option A. So taking option A, we have x plus 3 greater than 2, and we are told that x is greater than negative 1. So we have to solve this. We solve for x in this inequality, and then we compare with this one. Now we have x plus 3 greater than 2, so we group like terms here. Now we have only one x here, so we write it, we bring our inequality sign, and we send the constant number 3 to the other side of the inequality. So we came to meet 2 here. Now 3 is positive, so when you send it to this side, it will be what? Negative, so we have negative 3. Now x is greater than 2 minus 3 gives us what? Negative 1. Now that we've reached here, let's compare. We were told that s is greater than negative 1. And over here to the final answer we got is what? x greater than negative 1. So you see that this statement is true. Now let's move on to b. We have x greater than 5, where we are told that negative x negative x is less than negative 5. So what we're going to do is we will solve this to get x, right? We make x the subject of this inequality. Then we compare with this that has been given, right? Now, if you want to make x the subject of this inequality, you see that this is negative. So you have to make sure it becomes positive. And if you can change this one from its negative state to its positive state, we have to divide it by negative 1. Whatever you do to this side, do the same thing to this side, right? So you divide this one by negative 1, and then you divide this two by negative 1. So negative divides negative, x becomes what? Positive. Now we have x. And since we have divided this by a negative number, it means the sign will have to change, right? So we change this one. Instead of it being less than, it will rather become what? Greater than. Now, negative 5 divides negative 1, we will get what? Positive 5. So we have positive 5 here. Now, let's compare the results that we've had. x is greater than 5, and then x is greater than 5. So the results we got here is the same as the one here, right? So it means that this statement 2 is true. Now, let's move on to C, option C. Option C is given that x is equal to 5, right? x is equal to 5, where x squared is equal to 25. Now, 
let's make s the subject of this and then we compare with this one we have x being given in a square form right so we have to find the square root of x so now let's find the square root of x square and then we do the same thing to the 25 so square root of x square give us what we have x here and then square root of 25 give us what we have 5 now let's compare the results x is equal to 5 we also got x equal to 5 here so this statement is true by inspection right now let's move on to the option d the option d we were given that x plus 3 is greater than 4 where x is less than 1 right so we solve this and then we compare with the results given here now we have x plus 3 greater than 4 so we make x the subject of this inequality right and by doing that we will group like terms we have only one x here so we write our x now we write our inequality sign we came to meet 4 here we are sending the 3 to the other side it's positive so it comes here to be what negative so we have negative 3 right so x is greater than 4 minus 3 now x greater than 4 minus 3 is what 1 now let's compare the results so we have x greater than 1 here and then we have x less than 1 so by inspection we see that here x is greater than x but here x is less than x that is what is given to us in the question so it means this one is what false statement so we have option a b c and d and we have option a b c to be true statements and then option d to be false so which one do you think is the answer the correct answer is d